Hello everyone. So today we're going to work on lesson 9.3. We're going to be um, taking a little step further than what we did in 9.2 when we were graphing our points on our coordinate grid using ordered pairs. So today we're going to graph data and we're going to use the coordinate grid to, to, take, to take our data and then put it on our coordinate grid. Oof, if I miss someone can talk today, maybe you'll be able to do that by the end. Okay, so for this lesson, our essential question is how can you use a coordinate grid to display data collected in an experiment? Now, on this first lesson here, they actually have you do a little bit of a science experiment um, using ice cubes and water and then logging the temperature. Unfortunately, I don't have a thermometer at home that I can do this with with all of you so i'm going to skip on to the next one and we're going to start with um the let's see what page it is for you 547. i'm going to work on this one here so what we're doing is we now have this data and we're going to be creating ordered pairs so that we can plot that data on our coordinate grid okay so over here, let's take a look. We have Ryan's height, and we have his age in years. So when he was one, how tall was he? Well, he was 30 inches, inches tall. Um, when he turned two, he was 35, three, 38 inches, and so on and so forth. Okay, so now in order for us to create ordered pairs here, um, we need to look at our data. And let me try this and we'll see how it goes. I'll try to write for myself a box. I tried writing this um, the last time I did, I just did this lesson and recorded it. Unfortunately, there was a black screen in the back. So hopefully when I'm done recording this, you actually can see everything. Okay, so I decided that my handwriting was terrible on the last one, so I figured I'd go ahead and try to type it this time. Okay, so we have, his age is one and he was 30 inches. So our first word pair will be 130. And you put the comma in between because if you don't, it's look like 130 and it's not 130. Your first, your X um, coordinate is going to be one and your Y would be 30. Okay. So our next one then, probably guessed it, is two, 35. And then we have three. 38. Oh, 38. And then we have four. And I'll fix that in a minute so it fits on the line. 41. And our last one is five. Three, four. Let's see if I can make these a little smaller for us. Shrink you a little bit. A little bit more. There we go. Okay. So that's how you take your data and you can create ordered pairs using your data. Now it says, what does the ordered pair 338 tell you about Ryan's age and height? Well, simply put, when he was at was three years old, he was 38 inches tall. That's it. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and plot these. What I did is I created a um, infinite cloner here for my um, my dots so that I could put them on on our thing. And you look here, if you look here, you can see you have the age in years, and that's our x axis. And then his height in inches is the y axis. Okay, so our first one was one thirty. So let me bring this down here. Oop, let me get off of there. There we go. So we over one and up 30. It's a little crooked, move it over. There we go. Okay, the second one was two, 35. Your third ordered pair was 338. So over three and then up 
38, and I just noticed I need to move that up a little bit more. There we go. And then we have 4, and then 41, and 5, 44. They're a little tough to do because they're so close and my dots are kind of big. But you get the idea here, okay? So then you can kind of see the trend that each year he was growing. And we can take that data and look further. If, if we wanted to, we could see how much he grew, what, what, what year was the year between what years he grew the most, um, so on and so forth. We could do that. But um, look at the list right now. It says, why would the point six? 42 be nonsense. So let's plot that and take a look at it. Six, and then let's do 42. Right about there, I'd say. So take a look at that. Why would it be nonsense? Well, if you think about that, you know, as you grow and you get older, as you get older, you grow. Um, Unless you're, you know, 80 or 90 years old, you're starting to shrink a little bit. But, you know, when you're young, you're growing each year. So you can look at that and you would know that it'd be nonsense. Because at age six, he wasn't going to go from 44 and shrink down to 42 inches. You know, that wouldn't make sense. That's why it's nonsense. All right. So what I want to do is skip ahead here now to the homework part of this graphing data. There's two more graphs on here that I thought we could work on together. Um, I'm sure you could probably at this point do this on your own, but I'm going to show you another one. Because once again, we need to create ordered pairs for the data uh, and then put them on our graph. So why don't we go ahead and do that? We have hour one. At hour one, the outdoor temperature was 61 degrees. So our first ordered pair then is going to be. I'm going to just make this smaller right from the start. All right, so it'd be 1, comma, and then 61. And then our second order pair would be 3, comma, 65. Our next one is going to be 5, comma, 71. We have 7, comma, 5. And 977. Okay, so there we have our ordered pairs. And let's go ahead and um, label them on our graph. So I have my, my dots already up here. Now, if you notice, they've already done the first two for us. So they did um, 161, and then they did this one, 365. So the third one then is going to be, let's get over here, it's going to be 5 and then up 71. And we have 7 and 75. And our last one is 9, 77. I'm going to say right about there. Like I said, it's a little harder to do. These dots are kind of big here, but you get the idea as long as it's in the, the, the right area there. Okay. So now the second letter B says, how would the ordered pairs be different if the outdoor temperature recorded every hour for four consecutive hours? Well, in this case, they did every other hour and they did it. Um, they So they did it every other hour. But if you did it, um, for four consecutive hours, you're just going to have four ordered pairs rather than the five that they have. That's really the only difference. Okay. Let's go down here now. And now this one, you notice it looks a little different because up here, they kind of had already filled in your numbers. So you might be asked at some point to create your own graph. So then you kind of have to figure out how you might want to or you would need to put your numbers on your, your grid. So let's take a look at this one. This one is windows repaired. So the first thing I always do is I give my graph a name.
and I'll make it smaller so it fits. Okay. So this is our Windows Repair. That's the title of our graph. Um, and then it says we have the day and the total number that was repaired on each day. So I think it would make sense to me for us to do the days down here. Make this not so ginormous. Okay, our days. And then on this side, we'll do the total number repaired. And then I'll pull this down here, flip it around. I'll put that right there. Okay, so now we need to look at our numbers. So um, when I'm looking here, I can see the days we have from one to five. So when I look at my graph here, I'm going to label those um, one through ten, maybe, if I can make it small. Now, you know, the very end there is going to be your zero because that is your origin at zero, zero. That's where you always start with your coordinates. Um, so one, two, three, up a little off. Trust me, the last one I tried writing it, my numbers were everywhere. <laughs> so it was much better than my previous one that I was doing. So thank me later. Oh, I gotta move this over. Okay, that's about as close as I'm gonna get. And now here, if we look, we have 14, and then it goes up to 79. So when I'm looking at these, obviously I can't do 1 through 79. That isn't going to work on this, this graph because there's not enough blanks. So even if we count it by twos, that probably wouldn't be good, or fives, because 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, we need to get to probably 80. So I'm going to say probably by tens is going to be our best bet with this. Um, count by tens. I'm going to try this again and see how it works. Make this a little small and then I'm going to have to flip it. Um, flip it at the end. So three ten. Twenty. Thirty. Forty. 50, 60, 70, 80, and we'll stop. Now let me see if I can flip this, and we're probably going to have to go a little smaller so that it fits on our line. Oops, get over here. Come on now, work with me. A little small. Might have been too small. Yeah, that, I think that's going to work. Okay. So, um, and I can't, I had to do it sideways like that because I couldn't flip them. It would have taken me forever to do it the other way. So, but you get the idea that across um, these are your total number of repairs. So, over here, let's go back over and do our. Order pairs. All right, so our first one was going to be 1 and 14. The next one is going to be 2, 30. And then we have 3, 35, and then 4, 63. Our last one is five seventy. Okay. Then we have our ordered pairs and we're good to go. All right, let's go ahead and put them on our our grid now. So our first one was one. Oops. 
point of um, one fourteen, so one, and then go up fourteen. The second one was two thirty. Three. Forty five. And then four. Sixty three. And five. Seventy nine. Okay, so there we have it. Now we just did a red. Then it says, what does the ordered pair 230 tell you about the number of windows repaired? Well, on the second day, they repaired 30 windows. That's what it's telling you. Okay, so hopefully you were able to connect this lesson to the last one. Um, after you've uh, turned this in on Edpuzzle, you can then go on to GMM. And from there, you'll have um, a few problems that's your homework for this lesson that you can go ahead and request to me and I will allow it for you. And you then you can turn in your completed assignment on uh, Google Classroom. Okay, if you have any questions, let me know.